The symbolism of the chariot. Ecstasy and death. A chariot is a symbolic means of transport, a means of achieving ecstasy. The chosen visionary transport on death. Kings 2, authorised King James Version. And it came to pass that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. The Tarot ch Chariot Card The symbolism is incorporated in the tarot card for the chariot and there are lots of lovely versions of this card some of which, however much fun they are have rather lost the plot because the symbolism comes from the Katha Upanishad and is very specific The Katha Upanishad The Self Atman is the owner of the chariot. The body, Sarira, is the chariot. Intuitive discernment and awareness, Buddhi, is the charioteer. The thinking function, Manas, is the bridle. The sense forces, Indriya, are the horses. And the objects or spheres of sense perception, Visaya, are the ranging ground. The individual in whom the self, the sense forces and the mind are joined is called the eater or enjoyer, Bokta. For one who is devoid of real insight and has not properly and constantly yoked and tamed his mind, that is to say, for one who has not disciplined and controlled both his conscious mental faculty, manas, and the intuitive awareness, buddhi, which is a manifestation of the irrational unconscious, the sense forces become unmanageable, like the wicked horses of a charioteer. But for him who is always full of intuitive awareness and who has tamed and yoked his mind, the senses are subdued like the good horses of a charioteer. He who lacks the proper intuitive awareness and is thoughtless and impure does not reach that place, the state of transcendental existence. He tips over into the whirlpool of death and rebirth, samsara. But he who is full of intuitive awareness, thoughtful and pure at all times, reaches that place, whence one is not reborn. The man who has for his charioteer intuitive awareness and for his bridle the mind attains the end of his journey, which is a great distance away. That goal is the supreme abode of Vishnu the cosmic, all-pervading, self-divine. The Ariga Constellation 
There is a constellation called Riga, devoted to this symbolism. Riga is both one of the 88 modern constellations and was among the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy. It is north of this celestial equator. Its name is Latin for the charioteer. Early interpretive pictures of this constellation, such as this one from Constellatio 12, page 53, by Johann Bayer of 1627, more correctly show the need to bridle the intellect, shown as a lion. Later artistic interpretations are a lot less clear, especially as the constellation shows no chariot and the lion has been replaced by a goat. The Greeks and the story of Phaeton From Ovid's Metamorphosis The Story of Phaeton Take this, at least, this last advice, my son. Keep a stiff rein and move but gently on. The courses of themselves will run too fast. Your art must be to moderate their haste. Drive them not on directly through the skies, but where the zodiac's winding circle lies, along the midmost zone. But sally forth, nor to the distant south, nor stormy north. The horse's hooves a beaten track will show, but neither mount too high, nor sink too low, that no new fires or heaven or earth infest. Keep the midway, the middle way is best.